Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Schmidness. And over the last couple months, I've really started to see a trend and I'm really confused by it. People are bringing their duffel bags into the gym, like the weight room where they're working out and not leaving it in their locker locked up like a normal person. What do you need your duffel bag for? You're going to the gym to work out, not a sleepover. You want to know what a normal person should bring to the gym? A water bottle, headphones, and your cell phone. Now, if I was going to bring a bunch of unnecessary stuff to the gym in the weight room, not in the lock, and not leave it in the locker room, I wouldn't be bringing my nice duffel bag. I would just go and pick myself up a nice gym bag. This gym bag actually has a lot of awesome features. customizable and it has these sweet reliable handles if I was to bring this handy gym bag with all this unnecessary stuff with me and bring it into the weight room this is what I would bring I'd bring this sweet limited edition Elmo towel to wipe off my bench when it gets a little sweaty and wipe off my face I would bring my favorite toy to play with in between sets. I would bring chapstick. Now, this isn't actually for my lips. When I go to the gym at 5 a.m., pro tip is you actually put a little on the top of your eyelids. And after about a minute, it starts to get real cold and refreshing. It really wakes you up. It has to be be so otherwise it doesn't work next it would be a lint roller sometimes people with dogs and cats come into the gym and they get hair everywhere kind of wipe down the bench wipe down whatever you're using because nobody likes that all over anyways I always remember to bring a pair of Crocs too you know when you're squatting really heavy, it's really important to support the arches of your feet. And these Crocs, they do just a trick. Now granted, everybody's entitled to work out however they want with whatever accessories they have, but I've actually seen people squat in flip-flops. Why are you squatting in flip-flops? Like, I understand if you're squatting barefoot sometimes, it's to help your form or something like that. But why flip-flops? Some things I just will never understand. Another really cool accessory to bring with, when all the bands are taken and you really need to work on your shoulders, is a bungee cord. Ugh really helps stretch out your back, your shoulders, and sometimes you can use it actually as a measuring tool to measure your biceps and see if you're getting any bigger. Now there really isn't much functionality out of this next accessory, but sometimes you just gotta look cool when you go to the gym, man. You always need to remember to bring a second pair of headphones. Sometimes your primary pair is in charge, they just aren't working properly, so you have a backup pair. Now these headphones actually aren't wireless, and I lost a cord for them like a year ago, but it doesn't matter. You just need something to drown out the haters. Sometimes I just don't want to hurt my hands, and some of the bars can get kind of destructive. So always remember to bring a good pair of gloves. That way those nasty bars don't ruin your hands. Now I actually understand if you're a girl and you pay a lot of money for pedicures and manicures and you don't want to get calluses all over your hands, that's fine. 
foot dudes you're a man you don't need lifting gloves i do also bring a belt which i actually use as a wrist strap The benefits of a wrist strap actually, it helps secure your wrist when you're benching or curling and really make sure that it stays in place and you don't sprain it or break it. Seriously though, don't ever use a wrist strap. And don't say, oh, well, my wrists hurt when I bench or my wrists hurt when I curl or my wrists hurt when I deadlift. I broke my left wrist twice snowboarding and rollerblading and my right wrist in hockey and you don't see me complaining and using a wrist strap be a man sometimes it actually gets a little cold in the gym and just ankle socks they don't do the trick so i'd like to bring a fashionable pair of long socks Look at how fashionable I am now. Last but not least, the uh, items that I would bring to the gym is air freshener. Sometimes people get a little stinky and you just need to make it a little better. And if that seriously doesn't work, you can bring out the big guns. You bring an air diffuser and don't forget your nice eucalyptus scent. Now the purpose of this video was not to go over all these stupid items that I would bring to the gym, bring to the gym. It's to bring awareness that you don't need to bring your duffel bag into the weight room. Leave it in your locker and lock it up. All you need is your water bottle, cell phone, and headphones. Anyways, always remember to comment, like, and subscribe to stay updated.